Hey, how's it going everybody? This is your host Raja Banks from the New York Station live streams and today what we're going to talk about is how to choose a currency pair to trade. Now, before we even go into how to choose a currency pair, we got to identify, okay, what sessions do we have, right? So we have the Asian session, London session, and New York session, right? The next step is to identify that, okay, certain pairs are more volatile in certain sessions. Like, for example, if you're looking at the Asian session, we have to see that um, which currencies are opened during the Asian session. So if I grab my other marker right here, so the currencies open in this Asian session are mostly JPY, AUD, Australian dollar, and New Zealand dollar, right? Three main currencies that are open in the Asian session. Now, um, this means that these are the three currencies which are more volatile in the Asian session. So if you're looking at pairs like, let's say, um, we look at pound yen, right? So we look at pound yen, euro yen, and the dollar yen. Now, what happens is that if you're looking at GBP, USD, and euro, this means that these three currencies are closed in the Asian session, right? These are not moving in the Asian session. So most of the time, what you're going to find is that if you look at uh, pound yen, USD yen, and euro yen in the Asian session, you see that they all move the same way in the Asian session. But if you look at AUD JPY, you know, AUD JPY is going to move a little bit more differently than the other yen pairs that are only dependent on one currency, right? So now, in the same way, when we look at the London session, we can see that in the London session, uh, the pairs that are um, open at this time is your, you know, your pound, your euro mostly, right? Your Swiss franc, so on and so forth. But the mostly traded currency in the London session is your pound and euro, right? So if you're looking at, let's say, pound yen, Pound yen is going to be moving, pound euro is going to be moving. But the point I'm trying to make is that whenever you're trying to choose a currency pair, make sure that in that session, that pair is only influenced by just one currency, right? Now, someone might say, oh, well, like, you know, if you want more volatility or if we want more movement in price, why can't we choose a currency pair that is moved by both currencies, right? So what I mean by that is like, let's say if you look at New York, you have USD, CAD, for example, right? Your USD CAD. Now, when we take a look at USD CAD, it's very easy to identify that, okay, in the New York session, we have USD is open as well, and CAD is open as well. You know, so if we really want USD CAD to move, we would want either the USD to be really weak or CAD to be really strong. That's the only point where USD CAD is going to start to go bearish, right? Because for USD CAD to go bearish, we need USD weak and CAD strong and vice versa, right? But if we're looking at, let's say, um, GBP, JPY, in the New York session, the only currency we need to move is pound right because yen is closed but pound pound yen that's why sometimes like you know when you look at uh when pound yen is moving you may see that pound usd is not moving in the air uh, in the uh new york session right because that's something to got to do with the us dollar as well but if you're looking at pound yen in the new york session this means that you're only um making sure that pound yen is influenced by one currency right it's it's a challenge when you have a pair like in London session, we have, let's say, GBP or no, sorry. Um, let's say we have Euro GBP. It's tough to trade in the London session because now you have two currencies that are influencing one currency pair, right? So you would need one to be really strong and one to be really weak for it to move. Sometimes that's why you can see, like, you know, they may range sometime, you know, they may consolidate or there's less volume at that time. So whenever you're looking at a currency pair, make sure or first identify what session are you looking at it, right? If you're looking at it in the, let's say, hypothetically speaking, um, London session, right? If you're looking at it in a London session, let's say a pound, then you got to identify that, okay, if I'm looking at um, pound USD in the London session, is it easier for me to trade, right? And the reason why it could should be easier is because 
pound USD is only being influenced by the pound in the London session. But if you're looking at something like, you know, Euro GBP or you're looking at a uh, pound Swiss, then what's going to happen is for pound Swiss to really move, you need one currency to be really weak and one to be really strong and vice versa. So um, take this information. It's very important. That's why, like, you know, gold has clean moves in New York session because it's in only influenced by the dollar and like you know dollar inversely correlated to gold but like you know at the same time you may see that pound usd may not move a lot you know and pound yen move a lot because uh the currencies that are influencing that pair so that's very very important hope everyone can learn something from this and um yeah good luck guys take care